Hello guys, today's topic is very interesting. Today I'm going to talk about how many kind of women exist in this world. Far Eastern, South East, Middle Eastern, Africa, which includes uh, uh, Central Africa, South Africa, number five, um, North Africa, and number six, Russian and uh, Eastern European, number seven, Western European, United Kingdom and United States, and five, number eight is South American. So total there are eight kind of women. So apart from their look, what's the, what other differences they have which make them different from, from one woman to another woman? So let's talk about first Far Eastern women. Far Eastern women include which is Thai, Philippines and Korean, Chinese and Japanese. You will see that they look alike, in height they are not very tall. So they have this Eastern touch as well but they at the same time they are not very Eastern as well. They are very open towards different cultures. You will see that like many, many Western uh, men which is mostly, uh, mostly Scandinavian and uh, many, many European as well. They have married to many Thai women as well because they, because when they are, sorry to say that when they had enough of their Western women who, who are beautiful, but they're not beautiful. They at the end, all the men, they want some woman who is beautiful to them as well. So they, they bring these uh, Thai women into their country. So who look after them, they, 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 they miss that uh, pampering. So they need that anyway. So they, they, so they bring those women and marry them and this, uh, mostly they are Thai women who look after them. Second one we'll talk about Southeastern, which include India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan and kind of, uh, you can say Iranian women as well. You will see that, especially Indian Pakistani women, they are look alike but they are a little bit different. Pakistani women, uh, on the other hand, are a little bit lighter skin compared to Indian women and Bangladeshi and Sri Lanka. So, so what is the difference? Well, someone told me that if you want a woman to really worship you, then, then marry an Indian woman. You must have seen that how Indian women, they touch the feet of their husband and how they look after them. So it is kind of a thing they were saying that. And if you need a headache and a stress, then marry a Pakistani woman or kind of Afghani woman or especially Iranian woman. They will give you the time of your life. They will really give you a headache and stress and you will start pulling your hairs and you have no option left, you'll be kind of a prisoner. And after that, we'll go to come to Middle Eastern women. Middle Eastern women dilemma is this, they have this cultural thing where they know that their husband, they're open to do more, more than one marriages, so they are kind of understand on that issue. But at the same time, they have a dilemma to look beautiful. 70 wife, my, you know. 17 wives? Yes. Mm. That's a lot of wives. Yeah. I have one wife, which is in one? <laughs> one wife. They're mostly famous to have very heavy makeup on them and they always look want to look very prominent or something and they, they they love shopping so you understand that they have they have this middle eastern woman they have this insecurity about their look so they they, they go to, to any land to look beautiful but uh, you cannot fight you cannot fight them with the nature then come back to african women so african women central africa to south africa mostly they have very dark complexion and, uh, and they ha and they are very big as well. So they are very many African women. They are very skinny because of this, uh, uh, because of the poverty and many other issue. But mostly, whenever you talk about African women, especially they are living in America as well. One of my 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 black friend was saying that African women, when you go black, you don't never go back. <laughs> so you can understand that. Then there is a North African woman. You can say that they are also part of uh, the Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern touch as well, which Egyptian, Tunisian, Algerian, Morocco women. Their complexion is lighter compared to to the rest of the Africa as well, and there are many many pretty women there as well. Moroccan women they don't have a good reputation. They don't carry a good reputation as well all over the Middle East and everywhere. This is <laughs> Russian and Eastern European women. Whenever you talk about uh, Russian or Eastern European women, the only first thing coming to your mind, they are beautiful. Blonde, blue or green eyes. A man fascinated them. If you go historically as well, if you go historically into Ottoman Empire, Roman Empire, 
They were fascinated by Russian and Eastern European women. And she was the daughter of a priest from the Ukraine. Who were very prized for their looks. White skin, dark hair and delicate bone structure. What we call Valaketli. Flesh firm like a fish. Iva Gabai, meaning the belly should be shaped like a quince. When we describe women, we say cheeks like peaches, lips like cherries, similes like these, and that's what men expect. They are kind of dutiful as well. I mean, they look after men, not after that level about uh, Far Eastern women, but they are compared to their European counterparts. They are better, uh, they're more beautiful. They, are, they look after themselves very well, uh, and they, they, have, they still have that culture left in them. Now we come back to European, United Kingdom and USA and, and Canada as well. Uh, they, they are famous for being very, very tough or, you, or, they, have, or they are kind of a flag carrier of feminism where, where you cannot mess, mess with them. It is kind of, it is a perception and they are, they are, they are beautiful as well, but at the same time do not, do not expect any kind of duty from them. So this is kind of confidence they have, which, which I will give all the credit to the countries as well, about the legislation and the law as well, which has given them that confidence and they, have, they, they, and they give the inspiration to other women as well, that yes, you can stand up for your right as well. On the, on the other hand, now you go back to South American women. South American women, you always see that they are pretty as well. South American women, they, have the, they are a the mixture of European, Eastern Europeans, and they have their own culture as well. So they, they are in, on a crossroad. They don't even show about many things. <laughs> Descent from from Europeans, so you will see that they have a European touch as well. The the real South American women they are short in height as well, but they are they are men who are tall. They they have this thing. They are really scared of the men. I mean, I know one of the women who was she was saying that how scared she was from her husband because she escaped from there and she, and she came to European country. So now you understand. You have the idea about different kind of women. There was one man who was going to get married. He went to his mom and asked that please advise me. Uh, about the women. So mom said that there are two kind of women. One you can't live with, other one you can't live without. Then he went to his dad and asked the same advice. So dad was saying that there was two kind of women. One you have family with, the other one you have fun. So you can decide that. Pam is the one Greg wants to marry. You'll have to meet. Hi, Daddy! The parents. The purpose of this video was to narrow down and uh, the, the kind of women exist in this world and, and the qualities of those women and so in case, for example, you need to decide that uh, who you want to marry or who you want to go out with. So you have some kind of a simple idea that who will be the best for you to live your life with. See you next time with more interesting topic. Until then, thank you very much. Bye.